Mark Daly, 16. Mark Daly took his new little baby boy, Giles, who was four years old, who could talk reasonably well, and he drove down to Drangle with Giles, just him and Giles. And he came to the Advancing No Movement Rainbow Shrine, which had been built at Drangle, just outside of the main part of the town, in a little drive-in section near the A&M Assembly Hall, the Rainbow Shrine, which was visited. It was basically upon a rock background, a big mosaic rainbow, and there was some lettering which read, Genesis 9, God's Covenant with Mankind. Uh, Mark sat down on the grass in front of the Rainbow Shrine and chatted with little Giles. Little Giles, let me tell you that I'm a Daly and descended from the, the old Daniel Dalys. And, um, we are no hide sort of people. We follow the rainbow covenant of Genesis chapter 9 of the Bible, and there's the rainbow. The rainbow, of course, appears in the sky, and Giles said, I've seen rainbows. The leprechaun hides the gold at the end of it. Yes, fantastical creatures like sprites, they might exist. I've never met a leprechaun, but we're dailies, and we believe in that Irish sort of stuff, don't we? Of course we do, Daddy. <laughs> Anyway, we're Noah Hyde's little Giles, and we take the covenant seriously enough. We uh, read through the religion from time to time, the Rainbow Torah, and we live by its principles. I'm old now, you're a new child that I have, and as you grow and become a saint of God, remember, we're Noah Hyde's, we keep the faith in an everlasting covenant. And whatever comes across you in life, the people you meet and the struggles you have and the places you go, it's a truth which remains the same regardless of your circumstances. I, I think I understand you, Daddy, said Charles. That was strong words for a young one, but Mark felt they needed to be taught at a young age to give the ground that he wanted in little Charles, this little saint of God, saint of the king.